All right, guys, welcome back. We got a uh, 13, I'm sorry, 2014 uh, GMC Terrain with a 2.4. The complaint is a check engine light on. Uh, the customer did not notice any drivability. Um, what we did, uh, we scanned it first. I uh, got a P0013 and a P0014 for the exhaust cam actuator. Okay, so uh, I wasn't gonna film this, but decided to play around a little bit and get some stuff on camera. But uh, in any case, what I did was, uh, the first thing, I went to the solenoids and I noticed this, I'm gonna show you. Okay, um, this was already replaced. Did a good job, I guess the pigtail's good. Um, this is the intake side, this was replaced, it works. Um, normally when I get one of these, I change both solenoids, they usually go bad. Uh, so I just get both of them from the dealer and replace them. This one is bad, the exhaust. Uh, I ohmed it out, it's off the, it's off the chart, it's shot. Uh, this one is good. And I mean, we already verified what's wrong. This isn't a diagnostic uh, video so much, but I just wanted to play around a little bit. I had the Pico out and I was doing some other stuff. Um, and I thought, well, let me just play around and get some captures. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm in my scan tool here under the control for the actuators. Uh, both, you know, I can control one uh, at a time, obviously, the uh, cam for, the ca for each cam. So what I have is uh, my blue trace on here is uh, current. And my red trace, let's see if I don't do that again. My red trace is uh, voltage. Okay, and the solenoid. So what I want to show you is a comparison basically between the two. I'm going to do the exhaust side first. And uh, see what we get here. Okay, I'm going to turn it on uh, right about now. And as you can see, there's your control. I'm shut it off. And I'll stop this and I'll... Uh, Go back. Now what you can see here is we have no current. Alright, we have a we have a control and no current. You can see where it's it's ramping up and there's no there's no current ramp here, okay? There's only voltage uh, control side. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna switch the leads and I'm going to go to the other camshaft actuator and we're gonna do the same thing and see where we get, see, see where it goes with that, with that side uh, to see the difference, okay? So I'm gonna restart the scope and uh, I'm gonna back out of here a second. I gotta go to the uh, intake cam uh, solenoid. Okay, so I'm gonna go back now into the um, intake side which does work and I don't know if this uh, tool is going to time me out because I just did the exhaust uh, sometimes it uh, makes you wait 60 seconds let's see if it'll work I'm going to turn it on now and uh, if it has control nope it's time me out all right we got to hang out a second um, we have to wait 60 seconds here for uh, for this uh, to reset back out of the tool I'm just trying to uh, mess around here with different things to see what's going on basically with the uh, you know uh, with the uh, with the solenoid so obviously you can see that we had control when I went across uh, with the scope with the voltage we do have control it's trying to turn it on but we have no amperage so we have no current flow through the solenoid okay um, so I think I'm right here. Let's see. I'll go back in and see if it'll let me do it now. I'm probably rushing it too much. Oh, there it is. And as you can see, we have a current ramp. Okay, stop that. And uh, you can actually see the turn on. Okay, where the command is. see the ramp okay so what we're gonna do uh, like I said I had already 
uh, verify this just with a resistance test, but I don't like just resistance tests on anything. I mean, on these things it's all right because it's broke, it's broke, it's open, whatever, but um, you know, a lot of things could affect uh, resistance. So if you're, uh, with this one, it's broke. So I mean, it is what it is, but you can, you can have effects with uh, resistance values. If you have a spec, um, and uh, the engine is cold or the engine is hot, there's gonna, there could be a big variance in, um, you know, in the effect. So, I mean, you can, obviously heat, cold is going to affect things and cause things to break and failures to show up, but my point is that I don't trust resistance testing for a lot of things. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, I mean, to each his own. I like to have, very, I like to have multiple ways to check something, uh, you know, uh, more than one tool in the arsenal, so to speak. So. It's just a just something that I wanted to share with you guys, and you can obviously see uh, what I'm talking about here. Control is good. That's telling me that the circuit is good uh, from the PCM to the solenoid, but I am unable to produce any kind of current on that other um, solenoid. So we have two things here now instead of one. We have two tests that we can uh, confirm our failure with. Okay, I am going to recommend that he changes both solenoids. It's uh, on these things they're notorious. So I'll see what he wants to do and make the phone call. And if he wants to replace it, I'll, uh, I'll film the repair. If not, it'll ship and that'll be that. Uh, either way, it's confirmed that's where the problem is. Um, maybe we'll be back, we'll see.